wanted to ask about your approach to playing Rip. I mean, he's at one moment this fierce protector, tough guy, but he can also be incredibly sweet, you know, in his scenes with with Beth. I was wondering if you could just talk a little bit about your approach to that duality. Um, I mean, one of the reasons why I was drawn to him is, is what you just described, I think, you know. And of course, you've got the extremely popular Yellowstone. Oh, yeah. I love me some, some John Dunton. I want to go to that branch in Montana. So you stepped away from it, but you have said that there could be a world in which you go back, and you're hopeful that that could actually happen. Yeah, I think there's a way for so me. So are we. Uh, yeah, there's a way for me to work twice a year. So, you know, I'd like to work <laughs> yeah. more than once a year. So, want to cast well, Whitney Houston at I first? think they thought that, that maybe there was a better choice, you know, um, that, that, you know, that some of our more established actresses might have, you know, been, a, you know, the act, had the acting chops or whatever word you want to say. Uh, I, I, I'm, you know, I, I like to think that that's what it was. And I think for the large part, it was, you know, you don't you know, cast like an unknown a lot of times in a really important part. Beth and Rip, I think the reason why people, I mean, my, my, my theory is, is that, you know, they're not perfect, mm -hmm. you know, and they, they have their struggles, they have their issues. And I think, you know, a lot of the audience looks at that and they, you know, whether they are having those same issues or not, yeah. you know, probably not as intense, but I think that they're challenged in so many different ways, but they have each other, and what happens is when they're together, they open up, so they get to see. It's amazing, it's quite a trip, because you know, usually I, any hits I've had before were really films, and so it's, that's a different experience. That's right. one moment, you know, and like on a show like this, it's year after year, and it's been building in such an interesting way. Like the first season, when I'd fly around, you know, ranchers and farmers were sort of like, hey, I know that guy, hey, I know, I know who you are. Yeah. Second season was like a few more people, younger people maybe, people from, that didn't ranch and farm, but they're from the West. You know why uh, people don't come and talk to you? Because they're scared they're gonna let you down. I don't know why I'm, well, if you're marrying Beth, you've already proved you're not scared of anything. <laughs> With the movie, the one reason I wanted to direct it was because I wanted it, I needed it to be um, what I had dreamed about. So if you don't like it, it's, it's all on me. If you do, uh, just know that every little detail was meant with the idea that I knew you might catch it. Hi, everyone. Uh, look, I'm so, uh, I'm so sorry for everyone who might have been tuning in to watch the Golden Globes. Chris and I aren't gonna be able to be there. We Yesterday we had to pull the kids out of school and in Santa Barbara, this is the second time in five years, the, the town uh, freeways flooded out. We found ourselves on the... Hi, I'm Kevin Costner and wanted to invite you to see Horizon, the American Saga trailer. Uh, it's something I've been thinking about for a long time and I made it for you. I think we have false gods when it comes to what we always determine as success. I mean, make no mistake, I, I understand what it's like to have a huge hit and what it does for you. But you want to live forever with something that had a level of meaning to you. You make a movie with the idea that people are going to share it. We, yeah. we share a great song when we hear one, right? We, if we re read a great book, we kind of, our first thing that makes, we finally tell somebody, you know, I wrote the best book. And I think movies can have that power where we go, I saw a movie that touched me. I saw a movie that I didn't expect to touch me. Hey, why don't we go to a bar in Bozeman? There's going to be fighting, and we don't need fighting. We'll be home before midnight. <laughs> Nothing bad happens before midnight. After such a long time of waiting, Paramount has finally provided an answer about the future of Yellowstone. Although, it might not be the one fans were hoping for. But at least it's something to satisfy our curiosity with. So, here's everything we know so far about Yellowstone Season 5. Paramount Network announced that Yellowstone will conclude after the second half of season five, with those episodes set to debut in November 2024. In May 2024, they revealed that the filming for the show's final episodes had started in Montana, confirming that the series is on track for its fall release. This news was sure to excite fans who have been eagerly waiting for updates on the show's progress. The first half of the fifth season premiered in November 2022 and ended with a mid-season finale on January 1st, 2023. This half season left fans with the promise of six more episodes to complete the supersized 14-episode season. However, there might be even more episodes than initially expected. Actor Josh Lucas, who plays a younger version of Kevin Costner's John Dutton in flashbacks, 
mentioned in a March 2024 interview with Deadline that after speaking with creator Taylor Sheridan, he believes there could be 10 or so more episodes and wrap up the story. This isn't the first time the possibility of an extended final block of episodes has been hinted at. In a June 2023 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Sheridan mentioned that the second half of season five could possibly have 10 episodes, bringing the total to 18 episodes for the season. If I think it takes 10 episodes to wrap it up, they'll give me 10, Sheridan said. It'll be as long as it needs to be. It's unclear if Lucas's version of John Dutton will appear in these final episodes, but it's possible that Sheridan plans to use flashbacks to conclude the character's story instead of having Kevin Costner return for the series' end. When will season five return? In March 2024, Ian Bowen, who plays Ryan on the show, hinted at the timeline during an interview with E.T. He said, we will go back, rumor has it, in May. We should be on in November, roughly. He added that these dates aren't set in stone, saying, you're gonna have to give me some leeway on that. It's not gonna be sooner than that. It could be June. We shoot six episodes, November, maybe December. And then we go through the holidays and then maybe season finale, series finale, maybe on Super Bowl. And that will be the end of an era. It's been a long wait for fans who have been eagerly anticipating more Dutton drama since the mid-season finale in January, 2023. Bowen shared his feelings about the show's finale, saying, it's like going to college and grad school with the same people for six or eight years. And you're like, wait, we have to go? Then what are we gonna do next? It feels empty and weird, so I'm gonna try and ring out every second of it. Originally, Paramount had confirmed that the show would return in the summer of 2023, a date that was later pushed to November, then December, and finally set for November 2024. However, no specific date has been announced yet. In April 2024, ahead of the show's pop-up experience at the Stagecoach Festival, Bowen expressed his excitement for the final episodes. The fans are going to get the best conclusion that could possibly be written, Bowen told ET. Everything will land in a way that is perfectly set. A lot of shows just kind of finish, and they don't satisfy you. This will be completed in a way that it will make sense. He continued, I don't know that any show has finished this strongly ever. We're expecting to have the best series finale in history. Overconfident maybe, but I think that's what it's going to be. We thank everyone for their patience. It'll be worth the wait, I promise. While there are no details yet on what will happen in these final episodes, Bowen's praise has raised expectations that the conclusion will be epic. Fans can look forward to what promises to be a historic ending for Yellowstone. Will Kevin Costner be in the final episodes? The big question on every Yellowstone fan's mind is whether Kevin Costner will appear in the final episodes of the series. Speculation has been rampant, especially given recent legal documents filed by Costner amid his ongoing divorce proceedings with Christine Baumgartner. In these documents, obtained by Insider in July 2023, Costner reportedly stated, I will learn substantially less in 2023 than I did in 2022. This is because I am no longer under contract for Yellowstone, the principal source of my income last year. Costner further fueled the rumors in a September 2023 child support hearing stating, I've been told it's a little disappointing that it's the number one show on TV. I'm not participating. He also mentioned, I will probably go to court over the payout for the second half of the season. This uncertainty has left fans anxious about the fate of his character, John Dutton. In May 2023, sources close to the production told Puck that Costner would not confirm his return for Yellowstone's final episodes until he was comfortable with how his character was being written off. The first few episodes of the second half of season five were written to allow for the possibility of Costner's involvement or absence. Additionally, Puck reported that Costner was not informed ahead of the announcement that the show would be ending. As of April 2024, an insider told Us Weekly that the production still hasn't decided whether Costner will appear in the final episodes. They've internally discussed going a couple of different ways with the storyline if Kevin doesn't return. The source said, Taylor Sheridan could incorporate a big event to explain the disappearance, or there's a calculated move to protect his family from an enemy. If Costner doesn't appear, the final episodes will focus more on the children and ranch hands and their relationships, conflicts, and alliances. 
This news emerged just two weeks after a Puck report suggested that Costner still hopes to make a comeback, whether as a cameo or in some other form. According to the publication, Costner has been telling people he will return to the show in some capacity, but there are currently no discussions for him to do that. The final episodes, set to begin filming in spring, have been written without an appearance by Costner in mind. Promoting his new film, Horizon, an American Saga, Costner himself hinted that he might not appear in the final episodes, telling E.T., I'd like to be able to do it, but we haven't been able to. I thought I was going to make seven seasons, but right now we're at five. So how it works out, I hope it does, but they've got a lot of different shows going on. Maybe it will. Maybe this will circle back to me. If it does, and I feel really comfortable with it, I'd love to do it. The cast is expanding. As Yellowstone approaches its final episodes, the cast is expanding to include both familiar faces and new characters. In June 2022, it was announced that Josh Lucas would return as the younger version of John Dutton, alongside Kylie Rogers, young Beth, and Kyle Red Silverstein, young Rip. This signals more flashbacks exploring the Dutton family's past. Jackie Weaver will also return as Carolyn Warner, the family's corporate adversary. Additionally, Mo Brings Plenty, Mo Rainwater's right-hand man, and Wendy Moniz, Governor Lionel Perry, have been promoted to series regulars. The season will also introduce new characters. Kai Caster, known from American Horror Story, will play a young cowboy named Rowdy. Lainey Wilson will appear as a musician, while Lily Kay, Your Honor and Rustin, will portray an assistant to the Duttons. Don Olivieri, familiar to Taylor Sheridan fans as Claire from 1883, will take on a new role as corporate shark Sarah Atwood. Jen Landon, Teeter, and Catherine Kelly, Emily, Jimmy's fiance, have been promoted to series regulars. Jefferson White, who plays Jimmy, is set to return, leaving speculation about his move to the spin-off Four Sixes up in the air. Neither Kelly nor White appeared in the first half of season five. Yellowstone's core cast is also expected to return, including Luke Grimes, Kelly Riley, Wes Bentley, Cole Haza, Kelsey Asbiel, Reckon Merrill, Forey Smith, Denim Richards, Ian Bowen, Finn Little, Ryan Bingham, and Gil Birmingham. The growing Yellowstone universe. Taylor Sheridan, the creator of Yellowstone, continues to expand the show's universe on Paramount+. Plus. Following the success of the prequel 1883, starring Faith Hill, Tim McGraw, and Sam Elliott, Sheridan introduced another origin story set during the Great Depression, 1923, starring Helen Mirren and Harrison Ford. This series will return for a second season. Sheridan has also planned several new spin-offs, including the recently announced 1944 and 2024. These new series are expected to follow the format of previous prequels, focusing on different eras of the Dutton family's history. It's speculated that 2024 might feature Matthew McConaughey, though no official casting details have been revealed. Rumors suggest that Yellowstone stars Cole Haza, Kelly Riley, and Luke Grimes are in talks to join the spinoff. In addition to these projects, the spinoff Four Sixes is in development and will be streaming first on Paramount+. Plus. Though a specific debut date hasn't been announced, it was initially slated for 2023. However, in a June 2023 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Sheridan hinted at possible delays, stating, Four Sixes, for a number of reasons, needs a unique level of special care because this is a real place with real families working here. You have to respect the lineage. I've told the studio to be patient. The show, currently under the working title Four Sixes, is set on the historic Four Sixes Ranch in West Texas, a 266,000-acre property acquired by Sheridan. The synopsis suggests a modern-day setting. Founded when Comanche still ruled West Texas, no ranch in America is more steeped in the history of the West than the Four Sixes. Still operating as it did two centuries before and encompassing an entire county, the Four Sixes is where the rule of law and the laws of nature merge in a place where the most dangerous thing one does is the next thing. The Four Sixes is synonymous with the merciless endeavor to raise the finest horses and livestock in the world, and ultimately where world-class cowboys are born and made. As fans eagerly await the final episodes of Yellowstone, the series promises to conclude with a strong finish, potentially with Kevin Costner. Meanwhile, the ever-expanding universe ensures that the legacy of the Dutton family will continue to captivate audiences for years to come.
With new spin-offs and prequels in the works, Taylor Sheridan's rich storytelling will keep the spirit of the West alive, offering fans more tales of the rugged, complex world of Yellowstone.